Next, we will move to the second subtopic which is the frame structure and multiplexing methods. This is the STH frame structure. As you can see from the ITUT G.707, one frame lasts 125 microseconds which is 8,000 frames per second. And the rectangular block structure, it consists of 9 rows and 270 columns, basic frame for STM1. Also, each unit is 1 byte, which equals to 8 bits. And the transmission mode, byte by byte, row by row, from left to right and from top to bottom. As we can see here, to calculate the bit rate of STM1, it is 9 times 270 times 8 times 8000. The frame of STM consists of three parts, which is the section overhead and it includes regenerator section overhead, RSOH and also the multiplex section overhead or MSOH. Also, it consists of the AU pointer or administrative unit pointer. Also, it consists of information payload. In the information payload, it is also known as VC4, a virtual container level 4. It is used to transport the low speed tributary signal and it contains low rate signal and the path overhead. The location as we can see is from row number 1 to number 9 and at the column 10 to 270. The section overhead or SOH refers to the auxiliary bytes which is necessary for network operation, administration and maintenance OAM to guarantee normal and flexible transmission of information payload. The RSOH here is to monitor the regenerator section and the MSOH is to monitor the multiplexing section. Through this complete monitoring and management function for all levels, you can conveniently conduct macro or overall and individual supervision over transmission status of the signal and easily locate and analyze faults. The administrative unit pointer or AUPTR, it indicates the exact location of the first byte of the information payload within the STM frame so that the information payload can be properly extracted at the receiving and according to the value of this location indicator. The STH multiplexing includes three types, which is the first one is multiplexing of lower order STH signals into higher order STH signals and the second one is the multiplexing of low rate tributary signals, for example, 2 MAC, 34 MAC and 140 MAC into STH signals and also the other hierarchy signals to SDH signals. The ITUT define a complete multiplexing structure through which digital signals of 3PDH hierarchies can be multiplexed into STMN signals. The low rate tributaries are multiplexed into STMN signals through three procedures which are mapping, aligning and multiplexing. The STH mapping is a procedure by which tributaries are adopted into virtual containers at the boundary of an STH network. For example, the E1 to the VC12. The STH aligning is a procedure to add the TUPTR or AUPTR into the VC12, VC3 or VC4. The STH multiplexing a relatively single concept is the procedure by which the TUs are organized into the higher order VC or the AUs are organized into the STMN via byte interleaving. From 140 megabit per second to STMN, firstly the 140 megabit per second, the PDH signals are adapted via bit rate justification into C4. This is the standard information structure used to accommodate the 140 megabit per second PDH signals. After it is being processed, the service signals of various rates involved in STH multiplexing must be loaded into a standard container corresponding to the rate level of the signals. A column of path overhead bytes here can be added in front of the C4 block and frame 
during multiplexing in order to monitor the 140 megabit per second path signals. Then the signals become a VC4 information signal structure. The virtual container can be flexibly and conveniently added or dropped at any point of the path for synchronous multiplexing and cross-connection processing. By adding an administrative unit pointer or AUPTR before the VC4, the signal is now changed from VC4 into another info structure which is the AU4 or administrative unit AU4. The function of AUPTR is to indicate the location of the higher order VC within the STM frame. From the AU4 to AUG, one or more AUs with fixed location within the STM frame form an AUG. The location of the first byte of the VC4 with respect to the AU4 pointer is given by the pointer value. From AUG to STM1, as we can see, this is the last step to add corresponding SOH to AU4 to form the STM1 signals. From 34 megabit per second to STMN, similarly, the 34 megabit per second signals are first adopted into the corresponding standard container C3, which is through big bit rate justification. From C3 to VC3, after adding corresponding POH, the C3 is packed into VC3 with the frame structure of 9 rows times 85 columns. For the convenience of locating VC3 at the receiving and separating it from the high rate signals, a 3 byte pointer TUPTR or tributary unit pointer is added to the VC3 frame. The TU pointer is similar to an AU pointer that indicates the location of the first byte of the VC4 within the STM frame. The TU3 frame here, the structure is incomplete. First, we need to fill in the gap to form the frame structure of TUG3. 3 TUG3 can be multiplexed into the C4 signal structure via byte interleaf multiplexing method. The last step is to multiplex C4 into STMN. This is similar to the process of multiplexing 140 megabit per second signals into the STMN signal. From 2 megabit per second to STMN, Firstly, the 2 megabit per second signals shall be adapted into the corresponding standard container which is C12 via rate adaptation. To monitor on a real-time basis the performance of each 2 megabit per second path signal during transmission on STH network, the C12 must be further packed, which is by adding the corresponding path overhead or lower order overhead to form a VC12 information structure. For correct aligning of VC12 frames in the receiving end, a 4-byte TU pointer is added to the 4 notches of the VC12 multi-frame. Then the information structure of the signal changes into TU12. From TUG2 to TUG3, the 7 TUG2 can be multiplexed into a TUG3 information structure via byte interleaf multiplexing. From TUG3 to C4, VC4 and STMN, the procedures of multiplexing the TUG3 information structure into STMN are the same as mentioned before. Thanks for watching.